Please make welcome Bob. I got divorced and I was married for five years and you know don't get me wrong I love being single love it but the thing I most enjoy about being single is being able to masturbate without getting yelled at you see like my ex-wife had a problem with that you see like she'd be all like why you gotta do that when you got me that's but some bullshit like, I remember the first time I jerked off after separating from my ex-wife. <laughs> you know, I was in my new apartment and it, it was alright, it was alright, but it was kind of fucked up too. Like, like, she, she, you know, she had traumatized me. I didn't have PTSD, I had PTDD, post-traumatic dick disorder. <laughs> Home, sitting, sitting in my room, and I was alone. But, but I was nervous. I had the volume real low. I, you know, I, I had it real low, and and, and and every every time I turn around, I'd be like, ah! like, like I felt like I fucking hacked the Pentagon or some shit. They raised the terror alert to level orange because I touched myself. Man, it was like, like, like my dick. I just been released from Shawshank and didn't know what to do with the newfound freedom. It was like, Brooks, what's here? <laughs> so yeah, marriage fucked me up, y'all. See, I didn't have any forethought. I was naive and didn't realize that what I was signing myself up for was a contra contractual agreement to have pussy rationed out to me for the rest of my life. What the hell? Like that fucks guys up, y'all. <laughs> Fucking hipsters. <laughs> There's my wife rationing out her vagina like it's a fucking flu vaccine. Like fuck. This Justin, supplies of pussy are expected to be dangerously low in oh. this one. <laughs>
Ain't you got an episode of Bones to film? <laughs> <No>? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, inside, sorry. Your next, it, it's going to be extremely clear to you. You're going to listen to the jokes I just said and then laugh really hard in 30 seconds. <laughs> Your next comic, coming to the stage, please make welcome Lindsay! <laughs> San Francisco recently and I was sitting in my hotel room and I was watching the news and uh, they were talking about this new technology called augmented reality. Have y'all heard of this? Basically what it is is that you can download this app for your iPhone or a mobile device and, and it will tell you some things about like if you're in a city and you don't know what's going on, you can point at things and it'll tell you what's going on. So like if I was down 2nd Avenue, I could take my, my phone, if I download this app, it'd be like, uh, Spaghetti Factory, okay, cool, BB Kings, Hooters, you know. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if uh, this worked uh, with people? Like that would make bar dating so much easier. Like, <laughs> and I was thinking about the kind of apps they could have for it, you know, like, like the, the, the Intention app, brought to you by R. Kelly. The Real Gender app, brought to you by Lady Gaga. The, uh, and, and the best, the, uh, the STD app, brought to you by Valtrex and Paris Hilton. You know, <laughs> but I, uh, being a good consumer, I, uh, I downloaded this and I, I tweaked it for my own purposes, just for that. And um, I haven't used it before. I thought tonight would be a good night to use it for the first time. So uh, you know, let's let's give this a whirl here. You know, let's see what's going on. Sir, sir, you're 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 a very attractive man. <laughs> What uh, this, this app has to say about you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright. Alright. Look, it's loading, it's loading. Buffering, buffering. Alright. Um, two inch penis, erectile dysfunction, lives with mother. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did not mean to embarrass you like that. I'm sorry, that's, that, that shit's psychological. It's alright, it's okay, I'm sorry. Now, now men, I don't want to leave y'all out. Um, let's, let's, let's see what it has to say about some of the ladies in the house tonight. So, uh, hold, hold, okay, alright, alright. Let's, ma'am, you, you, you are a very attractive lady. Can you buy me a drink afterwards? Um, I roll both ways, apparently. I don't know. Um, let's see what it says about you. It says, uh, alright, alright, hold on. Ten-inch penis, Prince Albert piercing, will get medieval on that ass. Damn, girl! Woo, woo. You hide that well, you hide that well. I, I'm, I'm sorry, like, there's, there's a lot, lot of men's in this bar tonight, a lot more than I expected. Um, you know, man, you know, guys, they say that your, uh, your manliness is prescribed by your balls. Have y'all ever had one of your boys, your bros, come up to you and, and you know, and try to say that you're being cowardly about something, you know, and they say something like, you know, man, you, you, you straight lost your balls, son. <laughs> it's, what if that really happened? <laughs> like, what if you just, like, you get done drinking tonight, you go home, you go to bed, you just wake up the next day and, and, and they're gone. <laughs> Like, like some David Blaine shit. Like, they're just gone. Like, I mean, like, your, your, dick, your dick is still there, but, but, like, what the fuck would that look like? <laughs> like, it's just all flopping around, like, snuffleupagus and shit, going every which way. Like, I know y'all have enough... <laughs> I know y'all have problems keeping that shit in place and all, you know, it's just like, and it's going everywhere, and it just, like, get, get, how the fuck did you get up there? Like, get down, like... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of balls, <laughs> we, got any, uh, we got any pool players in the house tonight? 
Yeah, I like to play pool. But one thing, uh, you know, guys uh, get intimidated by a girl that knows her way around the pool table. <laughs> you know, like you'd be sitting there playing pool with your boys, and and uh, some girl walks up and tries to challenge you, and then you just you just need to you just start smacking that ball like it's Tina Turner. <laughs> <laughs> like, why don't you go ahead and put the cue down and get it over with? Just go ahead and put your dick on the table and hit the. Just, just proud, Mary! <laughs> Not so proud anymore. What, what, too soon? Too soon? That shit happened like 20, 30 years ago, y'all. She was from a town called Nutbush. Come on! <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, you know, pool. Pool is not that much unlike sex. You know, you, you, you gotta you gotta chalk the stick. You gotta think about what English to put on, you know, top, bottom. It's <laughs> just gonna be on Facebook tomorrow. Uh, you know, sometimes there's some scratching involved. And frankly, and ladies, I think you'll agree with me. Nine times out of ten, guys, y'all simply miss the pocket. <laughs> I'm Lindsay. Question, yes, there is a Goodwill aisle for that. <laughs> if I ever needed to buy a dress, I'm happy to know that I can actually find one in my size. That's right. That's right. Without having to go to like WNBA.com or something like that. Um, just, uh, it's good to know things sometimes. Better to know it and not have to use it than to need it and not know it. Ha, 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 ha.